this is still morning, so good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, welcome to uh, our press conference to discuss our participation in the Bahama Showcase this year. The dates this year for our tournament are Friday, November 16th through Sunday, November the 18th in the Nassau Bahamas, and we have a distinguished contingent here with us this, uh, this morning. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Brooks Downing of BD Global, and just a couple of quick notes. This is our second consecutive uh, event that we've participated with BD Global. Last year, we were in the Florida Golf Case Showcase. It was a great experience for our program, and obviously, aside from the fact that we won the event, uh, but it was, a, it was a very memorable experience for our entire program, and we are fortunate and excited to be partnering with you again and looking forward to our trip to the Bahamas uh, in a few weeks. At this time, I'll turn it over to Brooks. Thank you. Our firm is a uh, internationally based sports marketing agency out of Lexington, Kentucky. And my background goes to college athletics when I served at the, as the sports information director years ago at the University of Kentucky. So that's where I made my network. And that network now has extended deep into the Caribbean and, and we've created great relationships. And it started a, a few years back with Mr. Jeff Rogers, who's uh, here on behalf of uh, the Ministry of Tourism. And then we have the two distinguished guests, two ministers uh, from the cabinet uh, of the government of the Bahamas. And this is a very rare occasion. I want you to understand how special this is for, for us to have them in attendance today. And we have our minister of youth, sport, and culture, uh, Ms. Uh, Lanisha Roll, and then uh, Mr. Denicio Diaguilar, who's the minister of tourism. And so uh, let me just, on behalf of BD Global, and, and Towson University extend our warm welcome and, and thank you for being here today. Um, we have started this event two years ago after uh, last year actually was the first year, this will be our second year, after starting a uh, two web.com tour events also in the Bahamas. As it turned out, I had a, a former athletics director, C.M. Newton, who recently passed away, a uh, basketball hall of fame member, a uh, legendary coach, um, did a lot of stuff for the game of basketball and he had a home in Abaco, where he loved to bone fish. And so I'd heard many, many times about the beautiful waters and the, the, the wonderful warm people. And I think uh, the fans that will travel down uh, with this men's basketball team and all of our men's basketball team will discover the same thing that many of us have discovered is what a great place the Bahamas is and what a wonderful warm people that they are. Um, we set out a couple of years ago uh, when we got into this space, thanks to Mr. Rogers giving us the opportunity, um, we set out to make the Bahamas a destination location for international sporting events. And we feel like we're well on our way. And now the Bahamas has a rich history. They've got a bowl game. Uh, they've got another basketball tournament there. There are many, many opportunities there uh, for Americans and folks from all over the world to go and participate uh, in high level uh, of athletic competition. But uh, uh, this tournament was designed uh, specifically for non-Power 5 schools, schools that have difficulty scheduling because they're too good for the bigs to play them. They need a nice neutral court where they can get a high RPI game, uh, a, a, a first class experience. And to, I'll tell you what, when you get down and you see this new resort, Bahamar, and, and you experience the renovated gym at Kendall Isaacs, uh, there, there's not too many people that'll, that'll have a better experience than these eight teams in November. So we're excited about the opportunity to have year two uh, under our belt, more excited that our good friends here at Towson have uh, agreed to play. And Coach Gary, it's been great getting to know you. Uh, I think this is about the third event now we've had you guys in, uh, both in Vegas and uh, last year at the Gulf Coast Showcase. And just uh, a joy to work with you guys and looking forward to doing that once again. And any needs that you all have, please let me or my staff know. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys down in the Caribbean here in about six weeks. So without further ado, I'll turn it back over to our, our athletics director, Tim Leonard. Thank you. Uh, my job as the athletics director today is to give a warm and official welcome uh, to our friends from the Bahamas, to our beautiful university. We're very proud of our university, our facilities. Um, we don't have palm trees swaying in the breeze. We don't have a, a nice ocean right behind it, but we do have a beautiful basketball arena that we like to show off, and so very, very proud of it. Um, if 
fact, uh, I'm, I'm a little envious of some of the folks who are going to be able to spend uh, quite a bit of time down in the Bahamas this here in a few weeks. I know we have a, a number of fans that are making the trip down there, and uh, some of my fondest memories that I have had are hanging out down at the Gray Cliff, maybe smoking a nice cigar down there. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful place, the, the Bahamas. So, anyway, um, on behalf of Towson University, I'd like to officially welcome you, and, and my job is to introduce to you uh, from the Bahamas the Minister of Youth, Sports, and Culture, uh, Minister Lanisha Roll, and also the Minister of Tourism, uh, Denicio Diaguilar. So with that, I'll introduce Lanisha Roll, Minister Roll. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Certainly it is a pleasure to be here with my colleague, Minister Diagla, and our delegation from the Bahamas. I want to just uh, state briefly and start off by saying uh, or repeating uh, the line of Mr. Brooks. Um, Minister Diagla, I think we can follow this line. The Bahamas, a destination location for international sporting events. I like that. <laughs> All right, um, but certainly as in my capacity as the Minister for Youth Sports and Culture, I wish to say that the Bahamas is delighted are to partner with BD Global and all of you in hosting uh, the third annual Island of the Bahamas Showcase. Uh, we are pleased uh, that an international organization such as this continues to repose confidence in the Bahamas as an ideal Caribbean destination uh, with the right climate, with the right people, and the right facilities for your athletes to relax, to bond, to re be revitalized and rejuvenated to succeed in their various sports. Basketball for the Bahamas is a premier past pastime. Once the season is on, we're on. Everyone is glued to the TV, and um, we watch every play. As a matter of fact, um, we've had great athletes that came from uh, our little island state and um, made it on the global scale. And so we are so proud of Mr. Michael Thompson. You know him well. We are certainly proud of uh, DeAndre Ayton, who was your first draft pick. Um, for 2018, we are certainly proud of Buddy Heald, who is out of our second city, Freeport, Grand Bahama. And so um, our athletes continue to, to aspire uh, to, to work with you and to be a part of the sporting arena on an international level. And, and so certainly today we see this initiative as a win-win situation or a win-win relationship where both parties are receiving great benefit from the experience. Uh, our athletes would, our athletes at home, the local athletes would have an, a, a short opportunity to interact, to be exposed um, with top class athletes and, and certainly your athletes have the opportunity to build their group synergy and, um, and their bonding experience and so that is a win-win situation. The athletic world is doing new things from what I see, and they're doing new things to inspire athletes for them to reach their full potential. The Bahamas is certainly proud and humbled to have a stake in the, in the transformation of sports on this international stage. In this venture, the Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Culture hopes to facilitate uh, for your athletes an unforgettable, rejuvenating experience uh, through your, in, your international athlete development through your local or our local youth interaction, enhancement of our sports industry, and certainly fascination of our spirited Bahamian culture. I want to end there because I'm not only youth, but I'm sports and I'm culture. And um, so we want when you come to not only play games, but we want you to be able to relax. Um, we want you to be able to have fun, that you are rejuvenated to go back to your various, uh, to the various countries that you come from, and certainly do well and do your very, very best. And so we thank you for including us in this equation, and we look forward um, to you having a great time with us in the Bahamas. Thank you once again. Good morning, everybody. I have the best job in the world. <laughs> I'm the Minister of Tourism for the Bahamas. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people. Um, just a few facts about the Bahamas. Many people just know about it as a great vacation spot. Uh, we're very close to the United States. We're 33 minutes by plane from Miami, only 180 miles. We're an English-speaking country. 
the U.S. dollar is an accepted currency. We operate on Eastern Standard Time. We have a very close relationship with the United States. Nearly 80% of our 6.3 million foreign visitors come from the United States. Many, many Bahamians go to U.S. colleges. Playing basketball is the national pastime of our young people. And watching American basketball is the national pastime of our not so young people. For such a small country, we've produced a disproportionately high number of NBA players. Of course, culminating in the number one draft pick this year, DeAndre Ayton, and then following on from Buddy Heal in 2016. Everyone knows something about the Bahamas. We're a small country, only 400,000 people, a small American city. We're of 700 islands, the most beautiful islands on the planet, 2,300 keys, a very rich history highlighted by, by our independence in my lifetime only 45 years ago from Great Britain. Many people have come to Nassau, our nation's capital, where the tournament will take place. Beautiful facilities, incredible airport, modern infrastructure. The, the event will be held at a brand new hotel facility just opened this year, 2,300 rooms, a Grand Hyatt, an SLS, a Rosewood. People are beautiful, extremely friendly. We're waiting to welcome, and I was very Delighted to speak to the, to the coach over there, and he says, I'm coming, my family's coming, my <laughs> friends are coming. I was like, this is great. I don't have to do anything. So, and when you're finished with Nassau, everybody thinks of the Bahamas as Nassau. As I said, they were, uh, they were a country of 700 islands. And if you look at our emblem right there on that, those are the islands that we market. There should be 16 little bubbles. Mm -hmm. So we encourage you to go to the other islands of the Bahamas. Um, absolutely incredible <coughs> and uh, there's only one country in, in the world that you can swing swim with the pigs so that's the Bahamas I just leave that you go Google that see what that's all about it's incredible so we're looking forward to welcome you welcoming you to the Bahamas um, I, I can assure you you'll have a wonderful time lots to do beautiful water beautiful weather so can't wait to receive everybody thank you very much Thank you again for those wonderful words and the facts of the, about the Bahamas. I'm excited to get, get on that plane and go right now. So <laughs> I, have, I have one of the easiest jobs. Uh, I have no script here because I have to introduce uh, our head men's basketball coach, Coach Scary. Going into my fourth year of working with the Thousand Men's Basketball Program, and uh, Coach has definitely uh, established himself as one of the um, one of the best coaches in the country, and we're fortunate to have him here at Towson University. He's entering his eighth year here at, um, at Towson, and We've, um, he's led Towson to uh, three straight, not three straight, but three uh, 21 seasons during, during his uh, time here at, um, at Towson. And we've won at least 18 games the last uh, three years. So it's been a, it's been a great ride. Uh, we've established ourselves as one of the uh, top programs in the Colonial Athletic Association and one of the best mid major programs in the country. And that's all due to Coach Scary. At this time, I'll turn it over to Coach Scary to say a few words, Coach. It's good to be here. My staff came out. We heard there was lunch. That was good, everyone. Um, we're excited to come down to the Bahamas. Uh, we've played with BD Global before. Uh, it's great tournaments. Uh, we've got a whole, we got about, I think, 10 sets of families, a whole bunch of donors coming down. And then I told uh, Lanisha and Denisio, personally, I was supposed to go to the Bahamas twice before when I was with other programs, and then I ended up taking other jobs. So unless Tim gets rid of me in the next six weeks, I'm looking forward to finally going down to the Bahamas. Um, but it's, it's great for us because uh, anytime you can take your team away, play against really good opponents in a, in a great neutral court environment, that's what you shoot for when, you, when, when we're trying to get to the NCAA tournament. And to do it in an unbelievable venue is, is, is really going to be a, a memorable experience. We don't have anybody on our, our team, any of our student athletes have ever been to the Bahamas and quite a few people on staff. So we're, we're excited to go down there and we appreciate the good hospitality and that you're going to take care of us with all the officiating as well. So thank you very much. <laughs> If you haven't booked a trip, make sure you do it. See this guy right here. Thank you.
And to, and to close us out, I'm going to turn it back over to Brooks here. Uh, we appreciate everybody coming out uh, today uh, for, for our first announcement and the Bahama Showcase. Take a look at the bracket. Make sure you uh, take a picture of it, tweet it out on your social medias, uh, put it on Instagram. Uh, you see the competition there. Uh, we're excited to open up with Pepperdine from the West Coast Conference. And for those who don't know, the West Coast Conference is the home of uh, St. Mary's and Gonzaga. So we know we're going to be opening up with a quality opponent in the, in the first round. Um, Fortunately, the coaches don't have to scramble for scouting for the second round, second round opponents since we played both FAU and Georgia Southern last year uh, down in Florida. So uh, the scouting, I think, will be a little, little easier. <laughs> still, <t> <laughs> still a still little tougher, but a little easier since we since we're familiar with those opponents. And then the, um, on the other half of the uh, bracket, uh, Montana is um, expected to be um, be really really strong this year in um, in the Big Sky Conference and. Um, so we, 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 we're excited about the field uh, that we're going to compete against uh, for those, uh, those three days. And Brooks? Well, just to close us out, uh, our thanks again to uh, the entire, all of our government officials. Great having you here as well. Um, uh, we have just an unbelievable relationship down there. We look forward to having you guys experience an unbelievable college basketball tournament. It's not just a tournament, this is truly a vacation. You're gonna enjoy the ease of the commute, uh, as Minister Diaguilar talked about. It's a short flight straight from D.C., a beautiful uh, international airport to welcome you, a uh, convenient ride over to the hotel. The arena's not too far away as well, and a beautiful sports complex that the NSA manages uh, all underneath the supervision of Minister Roll. Um, it's just very convenient. You do drive on the left-hand side, though. I will warn you on that. that. So when you're renting your car, just be prepared. Stay left. Uh, I, it took me only like eight years before I got up the confidence to actually rent a car and drive myself. But uh, other than that, uh, we enjoy it. We hope you enjoy it. We look forward to seeing Towson and all of our friends down there here in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much.